During the briefing, Dr. Shangula provided insight into the escalating health situation in northern China, outlining the measures being taken to understand and manage the surge in respiratory ailments among the children. The minister emphasized the importance of timely and coordinated efforts to address the emerging health challenges. On the 22nd of November 2023, via the national focal point I just mentioned, the Minister of Health and Social Services was notified of increases in the incidence of respiratory disease, predominantly affecting children in the northern parts of the People's Republic of China. The Chinese authorities attributed this increase to a number of factors. These include the lifting of COVID-19 restrictions, the arrival of the cold season in the Northern Hemisphere, the circulating noun pathogens such as influenza, mycoplasma pneumonia, respiratory syncytial virus, as well as the severe acute respiratory syndrome. Mycoplasma pneumonia and respiratory syncytial virus are known to affect children more than adults. As part of the government's commitment to public health, Dr. Shangola assured the public that the ministry is actively working with health authorities to conduct thorough investigations and implement preventative measures drawing lessons from the experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic. Seeing that the reported increase in cases of respiratory infections do not meet the threshold to be a public health threat, the public is urged to remain calm. The ministry will continue to monitor the situation closely and conduct regular surveillance of respiratory pathogens and respiratory infections. It should also be kept in mind that the Northern Hemisphere is in the middle of cold winter, unlike here in the Southern Hemisphere. Johanan Urikos, NBC News, Ventuk.